Hey, what's up, guys? I have literally tried about 20 times to record this tutorial, and I keep messing something up really far into the tutorial and then having to start over, and anyway, let's see if I can get it right this time. And I'm really sorry, by the way, that I haven't been uploading anything. It's just because uh, my screen recording program broke, and finally I got it fixed, and so, yeah, I can upload regular videos now. So just expect regular videos from me, like, once a week or something like that. Um... Anyway, let's let's get into this. Today I'm going to show you how to make vampire eyes, like from Twilight, or just red eyes, or vampire eyes. You know. It's a pretty cool effect, and it's really simple, but it's a little bit... Diff uh, it's, it's, it's really simple, but it takes a lot of time. Um, okay, so, let's jump right into it. New project. And drag in your footage. You can download this, and uh, there's a link below to download the footage and probably project file too. Um, for what I've done at the end of this tutorial, uh, so it, it's going to be just to Mediafire or something. You just like click and click download. It's really easy. It's not not going to be one of those confusing download things. You just click it, you click download. That's it. Um, okay. For the sake of my sanity, I'm just going to do a little bit of color correction on this just really quickly. Uh, layer, new adjustment layer, and then I'm just gonna throw on an exposure, wait, oops, EXPO, there we go, exposure, drag that on, if you don't have effects and presets open, hit control 5, yes, control 5 to open it, um, or you can hit window, effects and presets, or you can just do effect, color correction, uh, exposure, or whatever, but Effects and presets is good, and that's what we're going to be using for this tutorial, so you might want to have it open, at least for this. Um, so, take that down a little bit to about there to get a little bit more detail back in his face. Take the gamma down. I think that could go back up a little bit. Try that again. Take that down. That down. Offset. Okay, there, that looks a lot better for just really quickly. Okay, so now what we're going to do is select the footage, control D to duplicate it, and now we're going to type into effects and presets hue and saturation right here, drag that onto the footage, and uh, then we're just going to try and make the eye part look red. It's going to change everything in the picture, but we just want to get it till the eye is about the right color, so drag this down, that's getting close, and then we want to drag the saturation up a bit. That looks pretty good. Okay, um, now his skin is pink, and I guess that could work if you're making an alien movie where the skin is pink and the background is not supposed to be the right color, but probably that's not what you're going to want if you're just trying to make his eyes red. So shut off the footage for a minute, and click on your ellipse tool. Uh, right here, it, it might show up as a rectangle tool like that. Uh, just just click uh, click and drag to the ellipse tool, or hit Q to cycle through till you get to the ellipse tool. There we go. And uh, then just zoom in, Control Plus, or you can use the wheel on your mouse, and highlight or make a mask around this part of the eye, like that. That's pretty good. Okay, and I'm just going to be focusing on this eye for the tutorial, not both. Um, just just because it'll make it faster, and I don't want to make you guys wait through me just doing simple stuff you can figure out how to do. Blah. Okay, so uh, here's our mask, and, and excuse me, uh, let's turn back on our uh, layer. There we go, and you see it changed his eye to being red. We can turn off uh, the mask for a second. Now that looks good, but you see it's not quite perfect. And, um, like, you know, there's a little bit of color there, there's a little bit of color there, and it's a really sharp line. So let's uh, highlight the mask and then just drag it over and make that, that work a little bit better. Okay, so same problem of the line being sharp, so we're just going to click uh, MM a couple times to brings up that, and then feather it a little bit. You see, that's how much it should blend, so just a little bit. 14 probably is a little bit too much. That's pretty good. Um, and that, that's obviously a lot better than just like that. Oh, by the way, guys, useful feature. Um, you can use this camera button to take a snapshot of your, of your, what you have right there, like that, and then you can change it or whatever. You can, 
uh, drag it up to like six. I think that's that, that looks pretty good to me. And then to compare it to your original, you just click this the the thing you took a snapshot of, hit this button. That was the original, and then we did that. So it's a very minor adjustment, but if you zoom in far and look uh, at the eye like this, look at the difference. Do you see how much better the second one looks? Um, yeah. So anyway, it's it's a really simple feature, and it's helped me a whole lot. So just just to tell you about that. Um, okay. So now we need to like right right now we just have a red circle of his eye there, but it's not it's just gonna stay there. Uh, it's not going to stay attached to his eye. You see that? So we need to make it attached to his eye. So there might be some way you can track it, but uh, I'm not going to try to track it cause, just because it needs to be so perfect because it's an eye. So what we're going to do is click the stopwatch next to mask path, which is going to let it change over time. Uh, so we're going to say start here, and then we're going to hit page down because page down is move forward a frame. Um, and I, you can do it a couple times. Uh, oh, and if, if you have the... Uh, path still shut off, you need to click this to bring that back up, uh, and click on the mask. Okay, and now we're just going to drag this over and line it up, about like that, and then page down, page down, page down, page down, page down, page down, and just repeat that for a while until you follow their eye the whole way across. If their eye is looking around and stuff, then you'll have to change the actual shape of the mask. Like, uh, let me show you what I've got right here, and then, I'll, and then I'll move on to that. Okay, turn that off. There, that's what I just did in that short amount of time. Okay, so that's pretty good. Um, oh, wait, did my feather, my feather disappeared somehow. That stinks. Uh, six is what we were at, right? Yeah, okay, there we go. Um, Okay, so if if their eye is looking around and change, or actually I think there's a part at the beginning, like right here, where his eye is changing, where it's looking and the size, um, let me show you what you're going to do there. It's it's probably most of you will know this, but um, here you just highlight the mask, drag it over the eye, oh, let me get a little bit farther because I know it's about to be right there. There we go, okay. Let's go back to this keyframe and just click outside and then drag these in and move the little handles to make it look good um, and then you just have to sort of match it up it's really undo that really really easy it just like I said it's time consuming it take, it take a lot of time especially if they're looking around a lot um, When you click the mask, by the way, um, you select all the points, so that's a time saver. You can also use like Control Click to just select two of the points. Or wait a minute, Control, Control. Oh wait, I'm a liar. Okay, Shift Click. Sorry, hold down Shift and then click, and you can select a couple of points rather than all of them. Um, but anyway, so yeah, you can put more points in and it'll look better. But that's yeah, like you see that it doesn't come down fast enough right there. Um, you'd want to adjust that and stuff, but you guys get the idea. And um, you see, it's you know, it's it's slow about that. So you want to slide this over that and stuff, and then obviously add in some keyframes in here. I'm just going to do a couple. You'd really want to do like one for every two or three frames and more, like one for every frame on the parts where their eyes are jerking around crazily. But um, this is what you can do. Um, like if, if their eyes still, you can just do this and then you don't need to make as many keyframes because it's really annoying. But, you know, it just depends on how important the project you're working on. If it's just for a test, maybe you don't want to make it completely perfect because it takes a while, but if you're doing it for some um, important video or something, uh, then you would probably want to take more time and actually make it perfect. Which is annoying. Okay, here we go. That looks acceptable-ish, and it's going to work till about there when everything messes up. So I'm just going to highlight this and hit Control um, end bra- wait a minute. Undo that. Sorry. Highlight both of these, hit control, control click both of these, and then, uh, I guess the adjustment layer too, not that it matters much, and then hit, um, 
alt n bracket and then that will make it the last frames because I don't want to I don't want to do any more of this um, so now let me just show you what we made uh, I'll zoom out a little bit so you can see focus on this eye not that one <laughs> Okay, so there we go. That's what we did in that very short amount of time. Well, 10 minutes, not that short. But, uh, yeah, and also something that I would recommend, um, that that's the end of the eye color correction tutorial, so you can close off if you want. But if you're trying to make a vampire, um, usually their skin is really pale, and a really easy thing you to, to do uh, for that is just uh, select this footage right here and drag on human saturation and then just take the saturation down not all the way like all the way would be black and white you don't want black and white but if you wanna take a lot of color out of their skin you can take it down um... they're like that see I'll show you the difference oopsie not just the eye that's kinda creepy um... oh here it is duh sorry that that looks more vampire-ish. Maybe the uh, eye is too red eye is too colorful. You could do the same thing with that. Drag the saturation down a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, mess with it. Whatever you want. But that's just like a quick tip that you can make make someone look paler uh, is just by taking the saturation down. Okay. Um, hope this helped you guys out. And uh, you might want to check out some of my other tutorials, like color correction. Uh, I've got horror color correction tutorial. That was one of my first ones that I posted. And I'm really glad I got a bunch of views. It's kind of cool. Um, but anyway, if you guys have any tutorials that you would like, uh, just let me know. I will do them if I can. And, um, yeah, I post uh, free pre-keyed stock footage. So if you, like find a video on my channel that's like some sort of stock footage uh, there should be a download link in the description you can download it drag it into After Effects and you won't even have to take out a green or black background or anything like that you'll just have um, whatever the video is with a transparent background so it's extremely useful um, and yeah anyway I hope this, guy, this helped you out guys leave a comment and let me know if it did I will see you in a tutorial next week probably <laughs> okay bye